You already know what time it is. Your boy Juice Baby back in your chest again with another reaction video. And this one is, you already know, interrogations. It's a, uh, a psychopath killer tries to impersonate an officer, man. We finna see what's happening, man. How they get away with this still, man. How, how, <coughs> how they get away with this, man. You already know what it is. Your boy Juice Baby back in your chest making it do what it do, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man. Y'all already know what it is. Back at you again with another reaction video. Interrogations, man. We finna make it happen. You already know. Checking them out. Oh, what that is? Ah, uh, ah, uh, stop it. I was doing something. Here we go, y'all. Today's case is centered around this man, 31-year-old Patrick Campbell. Back in 2015, the body of Patrick's grandmother, 64-year-old Darlene Witten, was found in her home. The cause of death appeared to be blunt force trauma and several stab wounds. Darlene's safe, where she kept her jewelry and cash, was missing. Family members immediately pointed their fingers at Patrick, and the local newspaper even named Patrick as a man of interest in the case. Before the police could gather enough evidence to bring him in, Patrick appeared at the police station, saying he wanted to speak with a detective. So, um, what's up? I, I uh, am a uh, CIA officer. Okay. Um, they had me in the, as an officer. I was in the 3301 program when I was 12. Uh, What's the 3301 program? It's a, a highly classified assassin program mm -hmm. to design to um, you're allowed to take so many sanctioned killings yeah. um, for your whole life. So you, you've done sanctioned killings? killings. Um, I, I took the, the 3301 tests. Um, this is actually my first official sanctioned killing. Which which one um, is your first official sanctioned? Darling Witten had a sanction to for first line. Um, Set till the end of December. Um, this year, 2015? Yes. 2014. 2015. Okay. Um, I've had a sanction on her for, for quite a while. I had a sanction on the whole family uh, just in case anything might happen. Okay. So you carried out the sanction killing? Yes. What day did you carry out the sanction killing? On the 17th, at 17th 6 30. Of March? Yes. This year. Yes. How did you carry out the sanction killing? Um, I, I beat her and slew her with a knife. Patrick claims that he is a member of the CIA and his job is essentially a secret assassin. Darlene had been a target of his for years, and he decided to take her life just a few days prior. There is so much more to the story which we will get into, but for now, the detectives want to know more about Patrick and his sanctioned killings. How did it? You say you, you slew her with a knife? That's uh, what they wanted me to do. And, and what, how did you do it, though? Uh, I, I just sat her to death. Where? And, and then I, I um, uh, asphyxiated her, so. Where did you stab her? Um, I stabbed her in the side, and I, I slit her throat a few times. I'd use a kitchen knife. They, they didn't give me a gun for this particular thing. Um, it's just a kitchen knife you found? They, they weren't. I had been, um, my house had been searched. No, I took the kitchen knife from her. Okay. Um, so how many times did you stab her overall? Um, probably about seven. About seven times? About seven. You know, in various parts of her body, chest, or where? Um, I stabbed her in the chest twice. I stabbed her in the in the kidney once, and then uh, I cut her throat three times. Mm. And this was, did they say why? Why is she um, sanctioned? She was sanctioned because she um, uh, committed quite a few um, acts that violated her uh, clearance and violated her, um, I forgot what they call it. And violated her right of passage in the United States. So are you saying she was a government operative also? She she was a, a foreign operative. But why, why would they why would they sanction you to kill her in such an open manner? Um, okay. I think what they're trying to do, which I, I thought might have been the opposite, is they want the case to go to court because they don't want her to be considered sovereign. I thought they might do the opposite, is, is not, not not press the court case, so she, she wouldn't be considered so either, either way, they, they don't want the kingdom of Spain associated with um, that royal line for a um, inevitable war with that country. And how do you get your orders of uh, termination? I, I am uh, contacted by a master of ceremony, uh, Raul Fleming. Um, he says he's done this quite a few times, so it's about six or seven. Um, he brings in, this is a gun, this is a sanction, and you have the right to go. And that's, that's, that's what he says. Ceremony, uh, Raul Fleming. Oh, yeah, you ain't finna get away with that, boss. 
They said this dude exists right now. One second, y'all. We finna see what's happening. This man name pop up. That man name popped up, bro. What? Hold up, man. We ain't doing that. This man name? This might be a fake run. Um, he says he has done this quite a few times since I was about six or seven. Um, he brings in this is a gun, this is a sanction, and you have the right to kill. And that's, that's, that's what he says. If Patrick's story is true, and he really is an undercover agent hired to assassinate people marked by the government, why would he tell the local police? So why did you come to us today? Um, pretty much to get things down on paper, okay. to, to contact your office, let you know the, that I have a sanction, and uh, I'm trying to deal with this state and local issue, because okay. I don't well, think they have the right state and local issue? Um, I'm a person of interest, okay. and uh, they don't have the clearances necessary okay. in the rights due regard to, yeah. to question me. Okay. Um, this has to go to a higher court. Okay. Um, and I don't know the process. I don't know what due process is. Okay. Where are your operatives? Where is Raul Fleming? Oh, he's um he's supposed to uh, be at the um, uh, courthouse to to award sanctions. Sometimes um, he can give me a contact number in case I was captured. The so, courthouse where here in in Lucia? Yes. So that, either, the either there courthouse. or Sanford. I don't quite. He's told me a couple of different places. He okay. said it doesn't matter what court courthouse is. It could be in okay. D.C. So he'll contact you. Don't contact him. Type thing is that pretty much. I think he's in hiding. Um, okay. There's one thing I wanted to make sure that, you know, we, when we spoke up in the attorney's office, I, I told you that when we asked you if you wanted to come down here that you're not being detained or arrested, you're down here voluntarily, right? Yes, You yes. came here voluntarily. With, yes. So, you know, you wanted to talk to us, uh, and we asked you to come down here. So, you you know, you're you're going to be free to go anytime you want to go. Okay. If you decide to leave, we're not going to hold you. But okay. I do know that... Uh, there are some guys who would like to talk to you about your CIA stuff. They're from the local side, right. and, they, and they'd like to just clear all this up stuff. You said you wanted to clear it up. Would you can, be can willing to do that to, in this office? Yeah, they could do it right here. Yes, sir. We'll be happy to let them in our office. Just sit in here with you. Yeah, and, 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 uh, but we can, uh, or we can let you talk to them. Because, That's you know, fine. That's how you, how you want to do it. But I did want to make sure that you understood that you know you're you're not under arrest here. We are. Yeah, the, the only the only thing is I'd like to find out who who got the link to the. The, um, the local paper, whoever put that paper in the file, that paper should have never have been in the file because that totally burns the yeah. agency. You know, because that that burns my identity, that burns everything about me. Yeah. That that's a mystery. My identity is a mystery to me. So, are you were you related to Darlene in any way? No way, shape, or form. Um, I was just a household member. Know her? I knew her very well because I, I was investigating her, uh -huh. and um, they they pretty much never knew their weapons. Patrick claims that his grandmother was in possession of nuclear weapons, and because Ooh, of that, her time had come. Sick. It appears that Patrick wasn't a very good assassin. Within hours of her death, Patrick was considered a suspect. Part I'm having a hard time with is, okay, so at some point you have to decide um, that it's time to, to carry out your sanctioned killing. Mm -hmm. It just seems very sloppy. If you've had all this training, I don't understand why it was done. I, I lost attachment to my training. Okay. Um, uh, my training was in my childhood. Okay. Awesome. I, I had been living kind of as a, as, a, as a Buddhist for a little while, okay. trying to find inner peace. All right. Um, yeah, discovering my identity because I have been also collecting intel and information running as a courier. Weird. And um, I, I was busy pretty much um, at, at war pretty much, okay. doing remote viewing for the government. So, so on this day, what made you decide that this was the part, perfect that opportunity? Was, that, was, that was the time. But that no, was it. You didn't plan it? Was no, the, the, that, I, I pretty much had no options. Like, I couldn't go ahead but you've been and think about it for a while. They had me under surveillance. Okay. They, they had me. Okay. They, they pretty much had right. every... Okay. Well, again, I know you talked about it, but why, why not clean up? Why not, why not cover this up a little bit better? Why oh. just leave it out there for everybody to see? Like and to I, I, my master in ceremony says he wasn't going to clean it up. He okay. didn't care what happened to her. He okay. didn't care what happened. Okay. You know, I was just supposed to do the job and leave. That's pretty much what he told me. But, I mean, it's, look, you... You realized the situation you were going to be in, right? So that, you would have some reason to. You said you didn't want to take the body out because people would see you. It wasn't. It, her house was very open. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think 
Um, there's a, a, a way that's handled. Um, when you commit a killing, there, right. there's supposed to be a, or a sign, there's supposed to be you know, a right. process by which um, you either leave the scene, okay. and then someone's supposed to come behind you and clean up. Right. But you know um, if the body's going to be found. You're going to be they, they guilty of, of, of I am, crime, I am, right? I inform my informants that. that it's not a crime. It was a sanction. Okay, but the, the public, the view from the public, you knew that if, if they see it, what it's going to be. It doesn't matter because there, there would be a sanction um, pretty much. While they are talking, a member of the CIA and a district attorney enter the room to speak with Patrick. They ask him to start from the beginning, which he does. Once they have the full story, it's time to ask him some more questions. Okay, but you, did you, Patrick, personally, I mean, you, did you care for Darlene? Um, the, it, we may have had a relationship as a, as an asset, um, you know, in some way, shape, or form. Um, but I, I had been under duress for a very long time from these people. Okay. Um, these so people little, I'm sorry. have have uh, committed many slangs, many murders around town, covered up, sanctions, all that, that kind of nonsense for years. Well, let's just stay on what, like you're reading the newspaper, you're seeing that this needs to be corrected. But um, since, you know, we only give the newspaper limited information also, because we don't want the right. public to know what the public right. needs to know, you can relate to that, right? right? So from the newspaper standpoint, surely you can understand that what you read in print, that you're a person of interest, I mean, you just... Yes, they were, that's they were correct. That's what, I mean, you are the one that completed the task, right? Uh, eventually, um, I, I figured I was going to have to. I was supposed to come and meet with Ms. Dress, at least to contact my master of ceremonies, so we can present the uh, sanction to the court. But we don't want the news to know anything. No one wants the news to know anything. that. I didn't contact. Did, were you told how to do it, or is that something you chose on your own with your experience? I was told any method, um, except a gun. I was not allowed to use a gun. Why? Uh, that was just what what the what had been described. Okay. So, just, um, okay, I get it. And, and I, I was, you know, supposed to find out any other sleepers that were in the field that that could come. But you wanted it. I mean, you know, or you didn't want it to be pain, painful, right? I mean, you didn't want uh, to hurt it her. Didn't, it didn't matter. It didn't uh, matter. Which point. did you do first? Uh, I can't really describe that. Okay. Um, that that has nothing to do with uh, the the issue. I mean. Okay, it, it kind of does to me, just personally, but if it doesn't to you, that's fine. Uh, it, it was a sanctioned slaying, right? I pretty much okay. had to do it however... Um, you know, was he coming here afterwards? Did you have other plans afterwards, or is this just to come here to correct them? Um, my, my plans were to uh, get, get the sanction, get to the core, clear the sanction, and um, move on to my next. At this point, the officers have looked up Patrick's history and they know he was diagnosed with schizophrenia after he graduated high school. They also know that Patrick enjoyed drinking and using psychedelics and that he rode a bicycle around town. They know that his grandmother was in charge of his disability checks and that he had to go to her if he wanted any money. With all this information, the officers decide to play pretend with Patrick to get him to talk about the murder. Patrick, I have a security clearance. Yes, I give you the authorization to tell these men how you did this and what you did, would that be good enough for you? Um, that, that's fine. I'm yes. a national security agent. Sure. If I give you the authorization here in this office, sure. you know, to be honest with you guys, it's, it's your choice, but... Uh, I would I, prefer I would, not, not to describe any of that, because that, that, was, that was nothing I wanted to do. That was nothing... Hunter, that's why I asked to memorize the There was nothing, there was nothing, to do. There was nothing whether, whether I wanted to do or not. Uh, I, I have a special okay. clearance, I have a special listing as an agent. All right, well, let me put it to you this way. We have, as you and I know, there are many things at play that the average person does not ever see, yes, right? Sir. Yes, Okay. Sir. And how am I supposed to know that they didn't, and you know... Hey, hey listen, they playing the game with him, right? But this stuff really, really goes on in life. It's real sleepers. It's real secret agents and stuff. Come on, man. Eric, yeah, we were Eric Snow. Come on, y'all stop playing, man. I'm talking about send you in here Snowden? to tell us about something that you really have nothing to do with. I'm sorry, sir. How do I know that, that you're not, how do I know that you're who I need to be talking to? 
Um, I am the man you need to be talking to. Then, how do I know they didn't send you here just so that the, the other guy can, can go complete another assignment and the newspaper is totally wrong? A, a detail or two from what I know, because I was in the house yesterday, a detail or two so that I know. That's, that's left out of your my, or your or my hands at that point. So I'm, right. I'm here to describe at least uh, my situation okay. and, and uh, pretty much to, to tell you, inform you of what had gone on. No, go ahead. I think I interrupted you. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, it sounds like he said, uh, what he was asking was, how does he know your handler? You know, that, that they're not trying to mis provide misinformation or deception to cover something further up, that you're just the, you're the fall guy. Um, how do we know you actually carried out the it, sanctions? It's, it's a clearance issue, and I, I refer gentlemen here on, on what clearances I, I can describe. Because okay. well, well, what you, well, you pulled well, 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 I step out. Yes, sir. I can, can I, I can tell you right now, as a having a high level clearance, I'll give you the authorization mm -hmm. to tell these men because I control the clearance at this right. point. Right. Right. Yes, sir. So uh, you say you control the clearance, but you ain't my handler, <laughs> and my handler don't know you. <laughs> if you want to tell these men? I'll, I'll allow you to do it. Uh, it would help them. It would help you. They need to know. Um, and what and what you're talking about at this point is right. is not national yeah, security. Oh, thank you. It's, it's, it was a national security issue. Well, I, I, everything you told me so far is something you could have read in the paper, and I need to confirm that you didn't read this in the paper. You're a man that knows what he's talking about, and, and that's what he's. And that's why I'm giving you the clearance. I, I didn't read this in the paper. I, I went I'm to saying you could have. How do I know? Um, I I really can't describe any of that. Okay. I, I mean. I pretty much come in here and telling you that, that I have the clearance to do this. And okay, how about we do this? Him and I will step out of the room. You, can you describe to these men exactly what happened inside the house and then don't come back just, We were discussing that earlier. Yeah. Is, is anything different than what you told us? That's no, how that's it happened? Much and that, that's all the information you had? That's it. What you can, told us? That's can you tell us uh, in, in, in open air, can you tell us how you got into the house? Uh, I knocked on the door. You knocked on the door? I knocked on the door and she opened it. I mean, when she opened it, she recognized you as someone she knew? Yes. Okay. And they invited you in? Um, no, at that point I struck her and then okay. commenced with the op. And wh how did you strike her? I hit her on the side of the head and her third her back with a rock. And okay. then I struck her uh, three more times and then I slid her with a knife. Okay. And okay, so you struck her with a rock. Did you bring the rock with you or did you pick it up? At the I picked it up outside of her house. Okay. Okay, so you struck her with a rock, and then you said you slew her with a knife. Um, what did you do first with the knife? Um, I cut her about, about two times, and then um, that, that, that wasn't really enough because it was um, it was dull, pretty much. It was just a kitchen knife that, that I grabbed. Um, she, she had already been, had fallen on the ground, so then... Um, I, I stabbed her again. I had to grab another knife because um, that knife was had gotten dirty. There was too much uh, there. So. Okay. And you said you stabbed her several times. Um, uh, it was about four times. And can you describe every place you stabbed her? Yes, I stabbed her right here, right about the gut, and I stabbed her near her heart twice. There might have been three there. Um, I might have broken her best plate. Okay. Well, see now I'm. No, Anywhere else on the right. body? Yeah. That you haven't described? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. After killing his grandmother, Patrick stole her safe, and the officers want to know why. Um, the, the safe uh, might have held contents that, that I needed. Um, oh, stuff that she knew. So anything in regards to that. Um, also, I, I was to, to take the safe. I needed the resources to commence with the further operation. I had to get in contact with um, uh, other members of different offices. Do you still have the safe? Yes, I do. Okay, have you opened it? Yes, I Hey, man, they might be calling this man as a schizophrenic just to hide that this man is. A, man, he, this, this man, he not stuttering. He talking so clearly. He know what he talking about. Like, what the what? He done studied this to the max. Well, I'm, I mean, man, and he playing this part to the max, man. He got me shook. You understand me? He almost got me believing he is a real agent. <laughs> okay. Are the contents still in it, or yes, have, you, yes, they are. have you gotten rid of any of those at pawn shops? No, nope, I haven't like taken anything like that. Okay, all right. Um, he wanted his disability check. Do you remember what you did afterwards? Uh, yes, I, I went and uh, I 
made contact with all the offices. Yeah, we need to know um, the all, all my liaisons across the field. Um, prior to that, I clean up. So I, I cleaned up. Um, I threw away all, all the bloody contents. Um, and then I, I, I packed up to uh, at least find a place to hide for a couple days um, to kind of work out where I was supposed to go, what I was supposed to do, all that kind of stuff. And you say, uh, first of all, did you clean up at your apartment or did you? I cleaned up at my apartment. Okay. Do you remember where you threw this stuff out? Uh, I threw it in garbage cans that, that, that I found. Why did you feel the need to hide? Um, I, I left my bicycle there, so I figured they, they, they would know. I couldn't necessarily go back to the scene of the crime and collect the bicycle. I wasn't supposed to go back to the scene of the crime at all whatsoever. Okay. Um, I was just supposed to, and, and my master of um, master of ceremony said, I, if I have to leave the bike, then I have to leave the bike. And I, I was well, that was the my car next question. Or did you plan on taking the car? Or was that I, I was ordered to take the car so I could find a place to go. And he Were said, you ordered beforehand or after? Hmm? No, beforehand. Do you think the people that asked you to do this kind of Three under the bus, maybe, and you? No, you? no, no. Um, this was they got it. They're not, you know. This was a, a cleared up. I, I've got a, a master of uh, ceremonies, I have a sanction on file, and I also have all of my national security information available. I have a whole whole file with the yeah. agency. But yeah. nobody's going to bring that forward. Um, if they they have to choose to bring that forward, um, you know, to, to the state office. Uh, that, that's not up to me. Uh, I can only tell them what I know. The officers need to know the location of the knife that Patrick used to kill his grandmother. Patrick claims that he threw it in a dumpster, but he doesn't feel comfortable giving out the location. One of the officers, who is claiming to have a high clearance level, gives Patrick permission to tell them. Well, if I give you clearance to, to tell these gentlemen, uh, would you tell them then? If I tell you from... If yes, I sanction yes. you to tell them, yes, and I and I do as yes, of now, yes. give you sanction to tell yes. these guys where these these uh, I mean, which dumpsters they were using. Um, there was a dumpster at a, at a gateway on on the way to um, it's on two ninety five or something like that uh, on the way to my next checkpoint. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why they told me to go to St. Augustine. I'm wondering if you were getting run into a trap. Um, I I, I actually was uh, testing that trap issue. There were. There were agents in the field, if, if you need to know that, but there were agents in the field that, that were assigned to kill me. Um, I was able to work out about an issue with them. Um, they, they expect me to uh, at least return to the field to, to work out whatever issues. So you did actually go up to a gateway gas station yes. on 295? Yes, I, that I dropped off, I dropped off the, the, the information described as a illegal passport. Um, she was not allowed to carry <clears> this passport. Um, because no, we're talking about like where the knives and stuff went. That 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 that, that got thrown away. That's what we're talking. Just about. got thrown away. I I threw that in a dumpster. You don't remember which there was no was. deposit dumpster for that. I I can't even describe that. Getting back to the house here for a minute, Patrick. What what did you do with the rock? Uh, I took the rock and I hit her uh, upside the head and I hit her three times. What did you do with it afterwards, though? I threw it. Where did you throw that? Uh, probably one of the um, trash can. So you took it away with you as you did the purse and the knife? Yes, I, I put them in separate. The, anything that, that had been connected with um, DNA, anything like that, I put it in a separate bag. Well, you left one knife there, right? You yes, said. I left one there. And where did you leave that? I, I left it on her. You left it on her? Yes. Okay, where on her? Uh, it, was, it was on her body. Okay, I just so you left, left, it where, life left it where laying it lay. on her body where or, or into her body? Uh, where it lay. It might have been partially. Okay, but you, you're referring to your chest, so that's where you remember last seeing Yes, it, it, was, it was laying across here. And the knife was with the purse, you said? Uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, I might. I think I might have thrown it in there. What about her cell phone? Uh, I probably, probably was in the purse. I probably threw it away in that. Okay. Did you disable it in any form or fashion? No, I, I didn't even touch it. I just saw it was Did in you the look purse. through the purse to see? I anything? searched your purse um, for for anything that I might be able to use. Did you find anything that was yes, useful? Yes. I, I, your... I just took the cash from the purse. How much cash? It was eighty dollars. Okay. Did you, was it in a? It was just in a plain open in a purse, or was there a, a pocketbook inside the purse of some sort? Um, a billfold. There were a couple. There was a billfold. There was a checkbook. Okay. Um, there are things like that. I, I didn't you use didn't any take of that. any of that. You left I, it with the purse. I left it in the purse. What about credit cards? 
all that got got deposited with the person and take anything. Okay, so you, that's all at this dumpster at the gateway. Nope. Uh, I yes, I threw that all in there. Okay. As the officers dig deeper into Patrick's story, it appears his mental health issues are more serious than they originally thought. When Patrick talks about his grandmother, he claims she was a cannibal who beat him on more than one occasion. He even claims that she kept armed bombs in her home. I've also um, uh, been um, assaulted. Uh, there, there's theories there that she may have been actually eating the dead. And um, there are times where and suggested that she may have tried to feed that to me. So that is where the burn notice comes in. I'm, I'm trying to go a little... Uh, a little bit about the rock? Well, I want to peel the layers off the onion here, okay? okay. Because there's, I think there's a little more than what's on the surface. There is a huge... Okay. There's a huge... So when she... I want to just... She, you knock on the door, she opens it. I went straight to... But she knew. She may have knew. Uh, she said she the first things that she said. She has an appointment, and it's six thirty. And she has to go. What are you doing here? And that's when I attacked her. Did she say anything when you attacked her? Um, she she tried to say that she had loved me and she was sorry. Um, I did get admissions to the nuclear weapons, the slaying slaying of people. Uh, murder countless citizens. She said anything after you struck uh, her with the rock? Between um, striking her with the rock and stabbing her? She with said, Papa would be so disappointed in you. Um, she said that she was the Queen of Spain as, as I was slaying her or letting her uh, bleed out to rest. Oh, she was um, like Queen Elizabeth. And she also said there was a bomb in the house and it should have gone off. Hmm. <laughs> For why I fix it? Um, because I, I felt like that was, that was the most peaceful way to, to let it down because it was, it was a violent killing. That's what I'm talking about. There's an everyday Patrick. People need help. Because there's an everyday Greg, and then there's the Greg that's got to do what he's got to do. Greg, I'm Greg, by the way. So there's like, there's the everyday me that waves to my neighbors and goes to work and goes to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And then there's the me that's got to do what I got to do, which I know you can relate to. And sometimes I get them mixed up. And I was just asking, like, because 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 you had said you wanted to do it peacefully and and, mm -hmm. and all that, and you didn't want her to suffer. So I was wondering, is there is that the the everyday Patrick coming in and showing a little remorse and feeling bad for what the other um, Patrick's got to do? I worked as as a as someone as a resource for them. Um, I didn't work for them. My overall goal was to protect my country. Um, yeah. I I believe that I was doing everything I could in power to at least take them out of their their uh, negative uh, lifestyle of Yeah, I mean, you don't got to explain. This is just you and I talking, but, like, did you did you feel bad? I, I felt disappointed. I, I felt in very disappointed. You. I felt bad. I felt disappointed in her. Um, this had to be done. This this was... No, I understand that perfectly. I'm just trying to determine that, that you, you understand right... See, see listen, they, they, they don't care nothing about the story he uh trying to build around their actual situation. They they pulling that apart. They just trying to get the direct. They want to know what a murder weapon is. They don't care nothing about... They ain't even asking him who the secret agent, who, you know what I'm saying? Who is your... uh? They got one name. But they ain't trying to find out what the agency had and none of that crap. They ain't into none of that. They trying to get, okay, because they want to know, show the people or the, the, the jury, <clears throat> this man ain't had no heart. <clears throat> he was heartless. Like, he ain't care about he, he ain't care nothing about his grandma. He treated her like she was a op. <laughs> and God, this boy is wow. Right from wrong, you yes. realize that under normal circumstances, killing someone is a crime, mm -hmm. and it's not something that should be done, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. This part of the interrogation is actually quite amusing. The officers have decided to play their part in Patrick's game, and they are taking it very seriously. Their goal now is to protect Patrick from the CIA, because he was obviously set up and his life is in danger. So, so Patrick, um, you understand how these things work, you've been trained, but in, until yep. someone comes forward, you got to see what these guys view this as, right? And you, you realize that you're going to have some things that have to happen until someone comes forward and tells us that this was sanctioned. Um, what do you think, you know, how, how are we supposed to deal with this at this point? Um, uh, I could stay in a safe house. 
Um, I can be in contact. I'll, I'll get my cell phone um, until someone comes forward. Um, Patrick, nobody's came forward to tell us that this was sanctioned. So someone well, in that chain of command has set you up to be in this situation. So if you walk out of here, they're going to say that whatever plan they had in course for you did not work. Somebody here is expecting you to be take the blame for this because no one's come forward. Nobody covered up for you. Nobody, all the things you said were supposed to happen didn't happen. So someone um, I'll, I'll, um, I also I also um, run operations command. I mean, I, 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 I had four SEAL teams uh, just yesterday that, that I witnessed that I had said there and a military commander said I'm covered. So. All right, what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to make a decision here because I don't know who to trust in my chain of command and I'm going to trust in your chain of command. Right. That's what we're going to do is we're going to arrest you to this homicide, okay? We're going to take you out and we'll probably put you in protective custody okay. at our facility and I'm going to come out and visit you or we'll have somebody come out and visit you. What, what facility is that? <laughs> it's going to be at the county jail. <laughs> <laughs> they might give you one of those doors that they get a trustee, man. You know what I mean? It looked like a. <laughs> it don't got no sit. It ain't got no. It got a door. You got to open the door. You got a kitchen next to you. And then in the other situation, you go feed the inmates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The one out of 92. It'll be a trust the one, Yeah, I want all appearances to be correct when we leave here. Okay? That's what we got. Is there any way I can get to a safe house or something like That's that? That's the safest safe house we got. I think I can handle it myself in the field. I don't. I don't know who's in control of your safe house. No, no I'm, I'm in complete control of those. Where are you going? The I jail? Want, yeah, I want all appearances to be correct when we leave here. Okay? <laughs> you, or we'll have somebody come out and visit you. What, what facility is that? The one out of 92. The I jail? Want, yeah, I want all appearances to be correct when we leave here. Okay? <laughs> That's what we got. Is there any That's way the I can get to a safe house or something like That's that? That's the, the safest safe house, house we got. got. I think I can handle it myself in the field. I don't. I don't know who's in control of your safe houses. No, no I'm, I'm in complete control of those. I really am. I mean, I... I in light of circumstances, we do have a requirement to take care of assets. So, so these, men, these men are going to take care of you. They, they will. They'll make sure you're safe. I'm pretty sure. I'm confident. I know, and I'd be the same way. Look, I, I would be too. But, but you know, sometimes you have to lean on other folks a little bit and, and let them make the decisions. And this time, this is one time, as a field agent, mm -hmm. you have to. You have I have to, to trust you. You have to just, you have to just trust me. Do you want all of, do, do you want all of New Smyrna Pete Police Department and all that knowing what we've talked about in here today? Hmm. Or do we have to keep up? We have to keep up our appearances. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're going in on an op then. Yeah, it's it's a bit of an op, and and you know these guys we've been given some special clearance. Right. And uh, so uh, so then we I get it outside of here. Right. Yeah, we can't get everybody has to the clearance. It's just went down that way. So we're we're just that from that all the only people that are going to know what's talked about in this room are us. Right. Okay. <sighs> Shit. So let them. Because what did do they know I was here? Yeah, they know, so let them think this is yeah. our guy and all that, and then let them. How did they know? Who, who's I'm telling you they're watching? How did they know you? How did they tell us you were there watching? They don't know what's being said in here because it's lined with lead. But. Yeah, this is protected space. They won't know what's being said and they won't find out anything from us. But but they do know because you said they're watching. So. Yeah, let me see if they're ready to. All right, so it's for your guys' safety too, right? For yours too, it's, yeah. it's for your safety, so I have to do it. Right, it's what everybody's yeah. expecting. Yes. So you're yeah, yeah, I got a choice. I got a choice. You want this to happen or whatever. You guys are just letting me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go running out in the field right. like that. They, they want it to happen or else they would have come here, so just, we don't know the other reason. Right. The other reason. That's fine, that's fine. Do what you got to do. Just keep up with your oh, okay. Because these guys don't not know. Oh, oh, just return your wrist and relax. Turn this one. Wait. Turn it that way. I'm sorry. I don't normally. In the end, Patrick would be charged with first degree murder, robbery with a deadly weapon, and Grand Theft Auto. Patrick pled insanity at his first trial, which resulted in a mistrial. His second trial would end with a jury finding him guilty, and he received life in prison. Whoa.
Do you believe that Patrick is insane and he really believed his story? Or did he create the story as a cover-up when he found out he was a person of interest? Man, listen, I've been watching interrogations for a long time, bro. I ain't never, ever, 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 ever watched an interrogation like that. Meaning, bro, I done seen people lie. <clears throat> Make, they, oh, oh, yeah, uh, making up stories. They stuttering. Not this guy. He believed in his story. Straight up. He believed he was what he said he was, man. I ain't never in my life. Boy, that was interesting, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. <clears throat> Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. I will be back at y'all. Uh, I don't know if tricked by the police. Can't go to jail forever. He got seen that one. Okay, woo. I'm just trying to make sure, man, I'm on my thing thing. You understand me? I see some new stuff. Boy, I got to react to. You already know, man. <clears throat> make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. You know, leave a comment. Hit them email. Hit them links. <clears throat> you already know what time it is, man. I'll be back in y'all chats again, again. Gang, gang. <laughs>